Hello everybody, so, cunt <laughs> hell. This, it's an interesting video. <laughs> now, as we all know, <laughs> there's no cure for Tourette Syndrome. Girl, what the? <laughs> However, apparently there's someone who's made a comment on one of my friend's videos <laughs> who claims otherwise. Let's look into it, shall we? And before we jump into it, gonna need some coffee for this one. Oh boy. So as I stated earlier, there is no known cure for Tourette Syndrome. As we all know, it's a hell, it's a neurological disorder characterized by vocal and motor tics. These tics are involuntary. <laughs> but this person, who's, I'm obviously sure, just probably totally a doctor, obviously knows something that everybody else in the world doesn't know how to do. I'm sure this random commenter happens to know exactly what they're doing. First off, you're not gonna see who the person was, what their name was, because I don't want you guys going after them and calling them adult. Hopefully they all already know, but I don't think so. But let's get into this, shall we? I have the cure to this. You smack them every time, every single time they tick, and I guarantee, and I guarantee you they will stop. And if they not, if not stop, wow, good grammar. And if not stop, they will at least slow down. All right. So, what this person is suggesting is hitting a person every time they tick. <laughs> Gee, I can only imagine how tiring that must be on that person's arm. And their hand, I mean, gods. It's just so much hitting. My boy has Tourette's and this method worked. It might sound cruel, but his quality of life has dramatically increased. It's negative reinforcement. Wow, I like how they absolutely are certain that his quality of life has increased. It's not possible that um, you know, the the, the child could be uh, could be hiding their tics from from them, doing their best to suppress them. You know. But obviously that's not a thing, because apparently they've cured it, right? It's like smacking a dog when it shits on the floor. The dog will eventually hold its shit and go outside from fear of getting slapped. Problem solved. Hashtag facts. <laughs> well, obviously the Tourette's community needs to know about this, all the doctors need to know about it, every neurologist who has gone to school wondering how they can possibly help people with this condition. Obviously everyone needs to take a page from him, right? Yeah. Well, him or her, or them, whatever their pronouns are, they're the parent of this child. And obviously they just happen to know how to cure something that thousands upon millions of people live with every day. <sighs> you know, I hate the fact that this person is doing this. I worry for that child's well-being. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that they've got clothes on their back, a roof over their heads, and food to be eaten. <clears throat> but yeah, <clears throat> physical abuse isn't a joke. <clears throat> it's not funny. I don't find it funny. <clears throat> Abusing your kid is not a cure for anything. <clears throat> but for those of you who um, might question, am I going too far <clears throat> by calling it physical abuse? <clears throat> well, let's go to the internet find a definition, shall we? <coughs> Let's open up Google. <coughs> right? Yep. Mm-hmm. 
and we'll just type in, you know, what is physical abuse? <laughs> Please enter it. Google, what are you doing? All right. Here we go. What is physical abuse? <laughs> All right. We've got some quality resources up here I'm seeing. Um, <laughs> What is physical abuse? Abuse and violence by Reach Out Australia. Looks to be a very uh, reputable website. Uh, we have Wikipedia, who's actually been working on keeping up uh, their quality. Mm. Uh, what is physical abuse? Healthyplace.com. Um, you know what? All of these, all of these lovely .orgs, all these websites, BetterHelp, Good Therapy. Oh boy. But you know what? Let's just go straight to what everybody, everybody always goes to first, right? Top one. So let's go, let's go up here. Reach out Australia. Oh, this loads in. All right. Go. Oh. What is physical abuse? As we can tell just by looking at it, you know, dot com. So possibly you know, a reliable source if you've taken those kinds of classes. <coughs> Typically is, but um, <coughs> apparently anyone can make a .com, so we keep looking. <coughs> but uh, first thing is, <coughs> physical abuse in a relationship <coughs> often starts gradually, such as with a push or a slap, <coughs> and then becomes progressively worse over time. Physical violence is always illegal. <coughs> if you have been physically abused, there are things you can do to get support. <coughs> So, you know, I'd call that a pretty good definition. It just calls it out as it is. But you know what? Let's let's go to the next one. Let's go, let's go out here. Wikipedia, let's go to the second one down. Everyone uses Wikipedia, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, trigger warning. Got a lovely photo right there. Uh, let's see, look at the first thing up here. Uh, physical abuse is any intentional act causing injury or trauma to another person or animal by way of bodily contact. And if we look down here, injury, also known as physical trauma, is damage to the body caused by external force. This may be caused by accidents, falls, hits, weapons, and other causes. Major trauma is injury that has the potential to cause prolonged disability or death. If we continue reading, in most cases, children are the victims of physical abuse, but adults can also be victims, as in cases of domestic violence, or workplace aggression. Alternative terms sometimes used include physical assault or physical violence, and may also include sexual abuse. Physical abuse may involve more than one abuser and more than one victim. That's, that's fantastic. And we can just we can just keep scrolling down look at the effects. Um, oh, look at that! Look at that! Physically abused children are at risk for later interpersonal problems, including aggressive behavior. And adolescents are at a much greater risk for substance abuse. In addition, symptoms of depression, emotional distress, and suicidal ideation are common features of people who have been physically abused. Studies have shown. Also, that children with a history of physical abuse may meet DSM-4 TR criteria for post-traumatic stress disorder. As many as one-third of children who experience physical abuse are also at risk to become abusive adults. Now. I know I took this <coughs> relatively satirically, but this isn't funny. <coughs> Abuse isn't funny. <coughs> it is illegal, <coughs> and no one should ever do it <coughs> under any circumstance. <coughs> Calling it negative reinforcement does not justify anything. <coughs> this post, this comment that this person left, pushes the idea that Tourette's syndrome is something that needs to be cured, 
instead of something that can just be managed and accepted. This behavior that this person does to their child is absolutely deplorable. If you are in a situation where you are being abused in any sort of form, whether emotionally, physically, mentally, sexually, if you are in any sort of abusive situation, there are resources out there to help with, help you get out of it. If you can, tell a trusted family member, a friend, a relative, the police if you can. And if you can't, there are plenty of other resources out there. There are websites with people out there who are wanting to help. If you know someone who is in a situation that's an abusive situation and they can't help themselves, please help them. Abuse leaves lasting scars on people, whether physical, psychological, or mm -hmm, emotional. <laughs> I've dealt with emotional abuse in my life and I still feel the effects of it today and it's been six, seven years. <laughs> it leaves scars. I will leave resources down below in the description box for websites that will help or can help. I want each and every one of you to stay safe. I'm sorry if this video was triggering to anybody. I do hope you all are okay. But I do hope all of you stay safe. You're all important. You're all deserving of love and respect. And if you suffer from any sort of disability, if you deal with any sort of disability, <coughs> or mental illness, or anything outside the norm, <coughs> there's nothing intrinsically wrong with you. <coughs> We're just different. <coughs> and there's nothing wrong with being different. I hope you all had a good day. Be sure to share this video because I feel like this has a pretty important message. <coughs> if you'd like to, subscribe down below and turn on the notifica notification bell for um, alerts whenever I upload a video. <coughs> uh, but other than that, be safe, be kind. Bye Skyforce.